So piggybacking on what we were talking about recently about potential, you know, shifts or moves that might be happening in the near future after the Yankees have moved Torres to second, G Gio to short, and, and, and DJ to third, I wanted to just follow up on the last video that we talked about and, and uh, you know, what we talked about in the live discussion as well because we've gotten a lot of different perspectives, a lot of different insights, and they're all welcome. And we don't always agree on stuff, but it's good to get all the different perspectives because it just, I think it helps enhance our thinking process, at least in my opinion. And, um, you know, it, it, it also helps make this channel better, but I, I appreciate all the insight and feedback. And we're all passionate Yankee fans. We're all knowledgeable about baseball and knowledgeable about our team. So I always welcome this stuff. And uh, I think it's, again, it's helps expand our thought process and, and our, you know, insights into maybe what, what's going on. And, um, you know, and my, my insight here is, you know, if, if they're going to move anybody this offseason, the order, if it's going to be infield players, the order in which I would move people would be Torres, then Voigt, then Gio. Um, but then again, it all filters into each other. So wh where are they going to move um, and who for and so on and so forth? Are you moving some of them for pitching and whatnot? You know, if, if you move or if you keep Torres at second, do you keep DJ at third, right? Uh, and then do you keep Gio at short with these other guys kind of developing and stuff? And and then who, who's going to be first, right? Or if you if you keep Torres at second, Gio at short, you move DJ to first, and who's going to be the option for third base? You know, Odor is probably going to be one of the options for it to play multiple positions. I get it. And personally, I don't see Odor or Gallo moving right now this offseason or next season because, number one, they're productive when they get an opportunity to play. They have power. And they both bat on the left-handed side, and somebody else is paying their salary. So unless there's a clear upgrade, they're not moving anywhere. So, and I'd be shocked if they got DFA'd. So, and you don't DFA somebody with 35 home runs. You just don't. Um, and I'd be shocked if they did, even though he's got a lot of strikeouts. He still doesn't have the. I mean, you know, Aaron Judge and and Stanton have struck have struck out more than 200 times in a season each. So, yes, he strikes out a lot, and I do think a year past. You know, the trade, uh, the acquisition, and having a full year at Yankee Stadium and 81 games there and a full year with the Yankees team with that lineup, I think he'll play better next year. I think he'll strike out less, he'll hit better, and he'll still have his elite defense in the outfield. So, you know, Dor brings, it, brings an energy to the team that it didn't have for a while, so I, I, I don't see him going anywhere either. And he doesn't, he doesn't have the sexiest stats, but he's clutch. He, clarried, he carried the team quite a few times this year, and I think that needs to be recognized. So, um, or at least I, I like to recognize it. And also, I mean, can you imagine getting into a brawl with the Yankees? Gallo, Judge Stanton, Odor, Street Fighter, like, <laughs> would be the worst, the worst idea for any team. I thought, I mean, the Mets would have got clobbered the other day if they attacked. <laughs> it must be nuts. But um, anyway, back to this. It's 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 really interesting to see, and I, and I've gone into a little bit of detail already. It's going to filter out towards what they do. Do, do they move Voight and? for pitching or somebody else or in a package for an elite first baseman do they do the same with Torres an individual for a pitcher or an elite first baseman do they package them both in a blockbuster like there's a lot of options you know and, and there's other things to be made you know they got to decide whether Andrew Hart and Clint Frazier has a future with the team I personally don't think that they do um, and it's unfortunate to say because I like both of them but at this point I think it's better for them to have a change of scenery and give them a chance to flourish elsewhere and they'll be blocked by Yankees anyway. You know, and then the other thing is that they're going to bring Gardner back. I know they got the option, the multiple option, the team option and the player option. So do the, does the team decline and then he exercise it? And then if he does exercise it, does the team buy him out? So because they're kind of layered options here. So, you know, because I don't personally don't want him blocking Greg Allen again. I don't want him blocking Estevan Florial, some of these other guys, Tim LaCastro and, and Trey Ambergine. Like, I just don't want them doing that, him doing that. And I like Brett Gardner. He's been a 15-year Yankee, but... It's 39, and it's it's time to get younger and more athletic and more versatile. And even though he's had a strong second half of this year, um, I don't want to go down that road again, or I just hope I don't want the Yankees to go down a road again where they hold on to legacy players for too long, and then you know they have like, just to sign up for one more year, and then he starts this massive decline, and then they wind up releasing him mid-season, and you know, and the Yankees miss out on an opportunity to get somebody. So I I, I don't think that's a good idea. So. But I'd still give him a Brett Gardner day and thank him for everything he's contributed to the team and, and call it a day and move on from there. But that's just me. So what, what would you do in terms of the infield? What would your infield look like with trades, without trades, and whatnot? Um, what order would you trade? How many of them would you trade? Who would you trade them for? Who would you want to get back? I uh, obviously think the Yankees need to invest in pitching, starting, and relief. 
There's no doubt about that. And they need to shake things up in the lineup. They need to get more athletic and more kind of fundamental baseballish and more contact hitting oriented. So there's a number of things that they need to do. Um, but again, I don't want them to, you know, get a Correa or, or a Corey Seager and then and then figure out what to do with everybody else because they they completely lose all the leverage if they do that. Because then teams know, you know, they can. <laughs> The Yankees have their shortstop, and they're not going to get anything from trading these guys. So um, I wouldn't do that. I would be very methodical with, with what they do and make moves, make them fast, be aggressive, make them faster than other teams, be earlier than other teams for once instead of teams being earlier than the Yankees. So um, I think it's going to be an interesting offseason, but I wanted to kind of further elaborate as to you know why I'm doing what I'm doing, why I'm thinking what I'm thinking. You know, Torres has more trade value than Voigt does, and... Um, and Gio. And Gio's a little bit older. He's 28, I think, and Voigt's turning 30. T Torres is 24. Torres and Voigt have three more years of team control, and, and Gio's got two. And Gio's obviously better defensively at shortstop than the rest than, than Torres is, so you obviously keep him there. He's better laterally, and he has a better catch to transition to throw um, than Torres does, so he's better at shortstop, and Torres is more suited at third. I think D J uh, no, DJ can handle... I mean, Torres uh, at second... DJ can handle third. Oh, G, G, they could always move DJ back to the multiple position guy too. You know, they could do that and just play. You know, somebody that they that they have already at third base or bring in a third baseman like Eduardo Escobar. I mentioned him the other day, and they could do that as well, and they would be plenty fine. So I like the appeal of bringing Brazil back. I like the appeal of you know keeping Voit too, or trading him for pitching or something like that. So there's a lot of decisions to be made, and it's, this is why I kind of want to keep talking about it because I want to get into a little bit deeper details because what they do at shortstop and what they do at first base is going to kind of I think it's going to determine what they do in other areas so but um give me your give me your insights what if you were GM what would your thought process be when it comes to these guys and I, and again not only don't trade them don't trade and keep them why what's the benefit you know let's get into that type of conversation all right let's talk some Yankees